Okay, so in this example, we're dealing with an SAT style question, and we have to use our knowledge of trigonometry in order to do this. So it says if rectangle ABCD has an area of 162, and the tangent of angle BCA is 2 over 9, what is the length of BD? Okay, so essentially what they want here is they want this length BD, right? And we're given this rectangle that has an area of 162. So what we want to do first is take a look at this tangent. So it says angle BCA. So if we look at a rectangle here, angle BCA, that's this right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a little triangle off to the side here so we can get a better view, okay? So this is going to be angle BCA. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. So essentially, we are talking about this angle here. All right. Now, what do we know about tangent? Well, we know that tangent, and I'm just going to abbreviate here, tangent of an angle is going to be opposite over adjacent. Again, this goes back to trig functions. Okay. So we know that tangent of any angle, or in this case, tangent theta, is going to be opposite over adjacent. Okay, so knowing that, we know the following. Look, we have length BA, that's our opposite. Our adjacent is going to be length BC. So in other words, we can write this the following way. We can say BA all over BC. Well, this is going to be equal to 2 over 9. Okay, and what else do we know? We know that this rectangle ABCD has an area of 162. So if I do length BA times length BC, that's going to give me 162. So let me go ahead and write that out. So BA times BC is going to give me 162. So look what we can do here. We can solve this by using substitution. Again, let's go back to what we have here. If I solve for BA, I can then substitute it into my equation here. Okay, so for example, I'm going to solve for BA, so I'm simply going to multiply both sides by BC here. So I'm going to get BA is equal to 2 over 9 times BC. Okay, so knowing this now, I'm going to take what I have here and substitute it in wherever I see BA. And then I'll be able to solve for BC, right? So let's plug it in. So here's BA, I'm going to plug in 2 over 9 BC. So 2 over 9 BC times BC equal to 162. This gives me 2 over 9 BC squared equal to 162. Now let's get rid of this fraction. Let's multiply by the reciprocal. So we're going to get 9 over 2, right? 9 over 2, multiplying both sides, this cancels here. So using our calculator, we're going to do 162. 162 times 9 divided by 2. And we get the following. So I'm going to write it right here. BC squared equals 729. Okay, and then we just want to take the square root on both sides. So doing that, we get... 27. So BC is equal to 27. Okay, so this tells us that length, length BC, is equal to 27. Okay, and if you want, you can even put it on the rectangle that we have. So here's length BC, this is going to be 27. And if length BC is 27, that means that length AD also has to be 27. Okay, so now that we have length BC, we can plug it back into our original equation and solve for length BA. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we know that BC is going to be 27. Let's plug it in. So we get BA times 27, because that's what BC is, equal to 162. So 27 BA equals 162, so we're simply just going to divide both sides by 27 here. So 162 divided by 27, BA 
So length BA is going to be 6. And again, we can go ahead and put this on our rectangle. So here's length BA. That will be 6. So if length BA is 6, length CD also has to be 6. Go ahead and put that in. All right, so we are almost done here. So again, what is the question asking? It says, what is the length of BD? So essentially what we're going to do here, let's just draw in a dashed diagonal so we can get a better view of what's going on. So just doing it by hand. Okay, they want us to find this length here. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. Okay, and that's how we're going to solve for length BD. So let's go ahead and show how that's going to look. I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Okay, just so we have some room here. And we're going to do the following. We're going to do 27 squared plus 6 squared. This is going to equal BD squared. Okay, so doing this out, we get 27 squared plus 6 squared, and we get 765 equals B D squared. We're going to take the square root on both sides. So again, we're going to have to round this answer. So we're going to take the square root on both sides. So we get here length B D. And since we rounded, we're going to say about, okay? So about 27.66, and we're just going to say units, okay, because we are not given a specified unit of measure, right? So we're just going to say units. This here is going to be your final answer right here. So length BD is going to be 27.66 units, okay? And that is it.